right, good morning everyone. My name is Brian Long and I'm gonna take uh, this opportunity for a 10 talk to talk about getting started with the ECHAHOW report templates. So when, when UC was up here the other day, most of you folks raised your hand saying you're using the, the ECHAHOW site survey product. How many have uh, jumped in and um, used the ECHAHOW report templates? All right. How many uh, took one of the advanced classes this week uh, with the ECHAHOW report templates? Okay, for those folks, uh, what I'm gonna be covering is gonna be very basic, but um, in talking with some of, the, some of the, the, the community members here, sometimes they feel like it's a big jump to get into the ECHAHOW report templates, like you gotta learn a lot of code and they're very complicated. Um, but this 10 talk, hopefully I'm gonna demystify that for you and show you how easy it is to actually get started. So as Wi-Fi engineers, you spend a lot of time doing your designs, doing your deployments, doing your validation surveys, and then it comes time to do that documentation, and it's a thing that is extremely important, but you really don't wanna take time to do it, and you need to automate it in order to make it go as quickly as possible. So the ECHAHOW report templates is an amazing tool that helps optimize and very quickly generate reports. The reports themselves are based off a technology called JSON or JavaScript object notation. It uses this concept of tags. So what's happening is you are inserting tags into a Microsoft Word document. Those tags are then referring back to information that is collected into your ESS file and then populating the information in the report. So you don't have to go back and dig through and do things a couple times. So before I switch over, the, the resources I use for this is the ECHAHOW website for the custom reports. That's the foundation of where all the information is. And then uh, also a reference back to Nick Turner's um, WLPC talk in Lisbon. Uh, he did a 10 talk on ECHAHOW reports as well. Um, I'm gonna be covering one of the topics he did for you folks, as well as he had a link to about 25 um, ECHAHOW custom reports that can then be, you guys can download and then customize for your individual needs. So enough slides, let's do the real stuff. Okay, so let's start out very, very basic. So as part of a project, what we're gonna do is just look at an individual tag and how, what it looks like and what you can do with it. So as part of every project, you have something called project notes. In your project notes, you have information for, you have fields for a customer, for location, and responsible person. If you enter that information into there, you now have the ability to add the tags for those fields into your report. So let's take a quick look at that. This is what the tags look like. Um, as you can see, the tag itself is in curly brackets and you have uh, the, the surrounding characters for that as you're uh, populating them into your report. So this is an extremely simple example, but let's switch back over here. To run the templates reports, you're gonna to go to reporting, template reporting, generate report. When that comes up, it's gonna, you're gonna to point to your template file, and then it's going to ask you what folder location do you wanna save, and what is the file name? So let's go ahead and generate this report. I've done this a couple times, so I'm gonna say yes to overwrite my file. And as you can quickly see, the data was populated by using those tags. All right, well, that was very simple. Let's do something a little bit more interesting. So let's say I wanna go ahead and take this, this uh, visualization here for signal strength and populate that into the report so I don't have to do copy and pasting and all of that stuff. So, <clears throat> but you don't know where to start. You don't know where to start with how do I, how do I get a survey? What are the tags? What can I do? ECHAHOW has made this super easy in their application. So you can click reporting, template reporting, and then copy current visualization template tags to the clipboard. So if I do that, I switch over to my template, paste that in, save it, come back to my report, generate, you now are gonna have all the information, um, all the tag information in your template to be able to generate that first report. You didn't have to go and learn all the individual tags, you could just do it all yourself. 
One of the things I did in here is I filtered on the five gigahertz. So what's cool about that is there's many things that you can filter on. If you go ahead and choose that when you copy the current visualization tags to the, the clipboard, it's going to give you all, the inf all, the, all that tag information for you. So you don't have to go and figure out and do trial and error on how do you make a filter and all of that stuff. The tool does it for you, which is pretty cool. All right, so this project happens to have two floors. Of course, I'm gonna want the information for both floors, right? I'm not just gonna wanna have the information for one. So we can use um, a directive here. Yep, not that one. Called a loop. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and paste that in and For some reason, you lose your mouse when you zoom in with Word, I found. Okay. So, the loop context here, a loop has a, a start attribute, a type attribute, and then an end attribute. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm choosing to loop through all the floors. I'm also, because I'm looping through the floors, I wanna get the floor name. I don't wanna to have to go back to, you know, if I've got like seven or eight floors, I don't wanna go back and have to type all that in. I can just put the floor name tag here and it'll automatically populate that. Now what I do need to do is I need to take the loop end here and move this all the way to the bottom because what I'm doing is I'm looping through the information between the start and the end. Make sense? All right, we're gonna save that. Switch over. Reporting, template, generate report. Generate and go. All right, so that's gonna go ahead. It's gonna loop through and it's gonna populate the project tags that I had in there and it's also gonna loop through the two floors. All right, so we've got the 11th floor. And then we've got the 12th floor. All right, pretty cool. All right, lastly, you can do uh, whatever you want on, on here. You can add different visualizations. So let's go ahead and add signal to noise ratio. I'm gonna do reporting, copy to the clipboard, switch over. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this information at the end of my signal strength tags, but before the end loop. Make sense? Because you want to ensure that the information is between the start and the end. Paste that in, save, switch over, reporting, template reporting, generate report. I'm gonna go ahead and run this. All right, so in that short amount of time, we've gone through and we've been able to get individual project note tags. We've looked at looping through floors to give you the signal strength and to give you the signal to noise ratio. And this will pop up here in a second. And we did all of that in about, what, five minutes? So as you can see, we've got the coverage, signal to noise for this one floor, and then the second floor, you have that information. Now this is very basic, of course. There's a tremendous amount of flexibility and things that you can do with these reports. It's an awesome tool. It gives you the power to standardize your templates across your teams and across the different projects you might be involved with. And as you saw, just in that short amount of time, uh, we were able to get up some pretty uh, decent information in about five minutes. So with that, jump into the custom reports. If you have questions, hit us up on social media and let us know where you go. Thank you.